Yeah, g'day. It's Charlie ZL2 CTM. And I just finished up uh, tonight just uh, wiring up that whisper transmitter and putting it into um, what used to be an old clock case that I had um, sitting up in the cupboard. So uh, I thought, well, why not? That seems quite good, actually. But um, I don't know if you, anybody watches Doctor Who, but um, I must admit it sort of reminds me a little bit of the uh, the cyborgs with the with the Art Deco case and the sort of sort of the the stainless steel there and the um, well, the chrome more the point and the uh, the LEDs it sort of sort of smacks of uh, of a cyborg. At the moment, it's just finished uh, a cycle there. It's now toggled down to low power. Uh, we've got the little heartbeat there um, now, obviously transmitting. Um, that heartbeat there is just indicating that the GPS has got a valid uh, position. The position is not required for a whisper transmitter. Um, it's the time, but uh, it was an available discrete that was coming off the um, off the GPS. So why not have yet another sort of LED blinking away? Uh, in terms of the back, um, managed to get everything sort of squeezed in there. In the end, I had to uh, I had to mount items on all three, in fact all four sides. Um, in the back there you can see uh, the LEDs and the wiring going up to the top left hand corner here from this view. Uh, that's the Arduino and then the, uh, the little GPS module there blinking away. Uh, the bottom is the, uh, the two regulators. Uh, in the end I decided to split uh, the power that was being provided to uh, the whole circuit into two regulators just to uh, minimize the heat dissipation there. So two 5 volt regulators there. Um, on the bottom or the side there is the little transmitter. Um, up the top, if you can see there, is the relay that's uh, switching in and out uh, an attenuator to uh, cycle between low power and high power. And then the DDS module uh, mounted up the top, the 809850. So all in all, uh, it was well, not a huge struggle to get it in, but um, she was a reasonably tight fit. But... Uh, you know, she's rock solid, it's not going anywhere, so I think at this stage of the game, I'm sort of quite happy with that outcome. Um, but yeah, no, so I thought I'd do a quick little video there just to show the final product, um, and I think I'll put that up on the, the shelf there, and they can just sit there blinking away uh, as I'm doing other things in the shack. Okay, 73s, cheers all.